Hi guys, welcome to another episode. And today we're going to be reviewing Lewis Reed's uh, Volkswagen Multivan. So let's have a little look at it. Right, so now we're going to have a little walk around of the uh, outside of the Multivan. So I want to bring you and show you the driver side of the van. Um, now, this one isn't available with an internal transfer, but I mean, there is so much space inside that if you're a passenger in the rear. So as you'll see, We've got a leather interior in the front, um, nice digital dash, it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, it's a really nice interior actually for the van, um, really, really nice. Then we're going to come into the back and you'll see again in the back it's got leather seats. Now it does come with six seats, but you would take them two out then if you wanted to put your wheelchair in. So then we're going to come round then to the back and I want to show you the lift. Um, now the lift is all operated with a remote control um, which is brilliant for someone like me um, so i'm going to cover more of this lift in a bit uh, when i get in and then i'm going to show you me getting in but i want to take you around to the other side door so i can just show you how much space there is when you remove the other two seats to allow the wheelchair to get in so as you'll see there is so much room in there um, so even if you had a wheelchair in there you're still gonna then get five passengers in there because you've still got the two remaining other seats so now we are gonna cover me getting in and then yeah we'll go for a little drive and then we'll cover the ratings at the end right now i'm going to show you the most exciting part about this van is the lift so it's all controlled with this remote it's completely wireless so we're going to press the down button um and it's really quick actually when it comes down um, so we're going to wait for it to unfold, which I really like that part of it. Um, we're nearly down. There we go. And then we're going to press the next one down. And it's quite, the buttons are all in sequence. So there we go. We're nearly down. Right. So that's the lift down. Now then, I want to show you just a couple of little things. So in here, um, we've got some little valves um, so if it ever sort of fails to work with the remote or electronically there are little valves in there which is like a manual override i do also want to mention is this remote like i said it's completely wireless and it's, it's a simple watch battery should it ever fail but i mean they're long lasting batteries so i'd be very surprised if we ever have to change it um but if you do like i said there's screws on the back unscrew it pull a watch battery in you're away to go um, this one, this lift also had, not on this particular one, but there is another lift which is like a twist version. So what I mean by that is once the lift is folded inside the van, um, you would then put a little lever down here, which then allows the lift to be sort of pulled open like a back door so that if you're ever being clamped in from the back, your carer can then clamp you in without having to climb around. She can just move the lift out of the way and in you go. Um, or if you've got shopping that just needs to go in there behind the wheelchair again you can pull the lever the lift will swing out um, and then you've got the full access to the back of the van now we're going to cover getting in and then i'll show you more of the interior right then we're now going to get on the lift um we're going to get on put my brakes on now the one thing i like about it i know it doesn't look well there isn't any handles on the side but one thing i like is this orange handle here so I'm going to hold that and then press up on the remote and up we go. Now, also, while we're going up, on the side there, there is um, a sort of manual, oh, it's not manual, it's like a electronic button control that, you know, if you didn't want to use the remote, you can use that instead. Um, there we go. Right, and we are in. So now once I'm in, I'm going to show you the interior now. Right, so now I'm going to roll into position and then I'm going to get clamped in. Right, put my brakes on. Now I'm going to get clamped in. The lovely Phil from Lewis Reed is going to clamp me in and I'm going to show you then what it looks like once I'm in. Right, so as you can see, I'm clamped in. I'm ready to go. Now Phil is going to take us for a lovely little drive um, and then I can give you my feedback as we're driving along and then later um, we'll come back here and we'll cover the ratings. So 
So we are driving, and as you can see, as I showed you earlier, I've got to be honest, I'm very comfortable. Um, so we're going to go for a short drive. Um, as you can see, it's also got a panoramic roof, which I think makes a hell of a difference. Um, this is a hybrid. Um, as I said, lovely Phil is driving us somewhere. We're going to go for a little drive. Um, as I told you earlier, it's got a start stop. It's got also got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, and yeah, this is also available in a diesel if you didn't want the hybrid model. And I've got to be honest, I don't usually go anywhere um, as a passenger being clamped in my chair. But you know what? It's really comfortable, actually. And I don't feel that like, like I'm uncomfortable. So, yeah, it's really, really nice. Right. So we've just come back from a short drive. And I've got to be honest, I haven't been uh, clamped into any van uh, for a long, long time. Um, but this was seamless. I didn't even feel uncomfortable. I was strapped in. My wheelchair was not going anywhere. We went around roundabouts, round bends. Um, and some of you might know that if you're, as a passenger, and you're behind, um, your van is behind the car and you go to pull off, sometimes you do have a ton of a bit of a jerk. Didn't have any of it. Not once. So honestly, this is fantastic. So that is now going to bring me on to my ratings. So accessibility, we're going to score it a five. You see how easy it was. Um, practicality, again, five because you've got so much room in there and you still can have five people in the van and your wheelchair. Um, or I should say four people and your wheelchair. Um, then we've got comfort. Like I said, it's going to be a five because I didn't even have to think about the, the fact that I was clamped in. Um, but I mean, if you didn't want to be clamped in, you can just transfer into a seat if that's what you chose to do. Um, and then performance, with it being a hybrid, okay, I haven't driven it. But as I said, I could. I was sitting there. There wasn't no noise when it's electric. It's very, very smooth. You don't feel any gear changes, um, and that I have experienced that as a passenger. Um, so to be able to drive one of these um, would be brilliant. But like I said, this is absolutely a fantastic van. So I want to thank Lewis Reed for bringing it down today and for allowing me to review it. And if you want to get in contact with Lewis Reed about the multi van, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box for you to contact Lewis Reed and I'm also going to leave you a link in there for you to look at the other type of lift that is on these which is the twister one which, which opens like a door and um, that I mentioned earlier I'll leave that in there as well for you but for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon